Afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Westeros Total War. God, I have missed this. I mean, although I've been uploading episodes quite regularly, frequently, well, I've been uploading quite frequently. I haven't actually been recording. The first seven episodes I did were all in bulk, so this is only the second time I've played this, which is terrible. From now on, I'm just going to do two episodes in bulk, and that way I can stay a lot more in track. You guys, if you've got any suggestions, can act, I can act upon them. It'll just make it a, a much better experience for everybody involved. So, when we left off, we had Dragonstone. I think we had mega money problems, didn't we? Even Fall Hall. We just won the battle around here. Don't know what, the Rainhouse region. And somebody told me to take Storm's End. To take the capital. It just seems to make sense. He was saying that the majority of their armies were coming from Storm's End. Not these two here, so there's no point in worrying about them. So let's rally the troops. Let's get a big attack. I want at least two full stacks. What sort of units will we be using again? It's a lot of armoured sergeants. Uh, I mean, you're not going to win battles just using them. Although that's what they're doing, I think we're going to have to have more diverse units. We're going to have to recruit some just standard spearmen. Ah, uh, yeah, we're broke. Can we build anything to increase our, our economy? No, we can't. Well, we'll let these guys just retrain, and then we will march. I mean, as Stannis, you know, master of the fleet for uh, all this war. Yeah, we're, we're definitely doing quite strong on the fleet front. So how's Tyrell? So how have you guys been? Oh, really? Oh, really? Wow, jeez. You should lay off that stuff, man. God, I've had a weird morning. I woke up and I've been watching, I think they're Draw My Life videos. I've been watch. Ah, oh, yes, Council. I've been watching Draw My Life videos non stop all morning. Odd stuff. Odd stuff. I just thought I'd share that with you. So, us with the Arons, very good relations, and the Greyjoys. I mean, the Arons and the Greyjoys, I personally think, are complete arseholes. So it's a bit odd that I side with them, but hey ho, they're at war with the Lannisters. They're doing a good job there. I'm proud of them. They're, they're keeping me going at least. So at Mistwood, our army is redone. We've got some money coming in now. Always good. We're getting about 700 a turn, which is it's enough. It, you know, it can. It's keeping us going slightly. There's no point building any of that. What we need to capture are some towns. Because all these castles, you cannot change the rent on. Oh, Adrian Seltgar, he's, uh, he's, he's gonna die, isn't he? <laughs> he's 67. He's had a good run. So, we want to leave some troops in this province. Have we been leaving spear militia in our provinces? I uh, just stand spearmen. And let's march. Let's send everything we've got after these bastards. Let's go. Uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna not be too happy, but they'll be built next turn, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna keep two separate armies. We'll have the better troops in Stannis' army, obviously. Ah, oh, they, they can't move. Because <laughs> I think this army is gonna besiege Griffin Roost, Griffin's Roost, and then we're gonna quickly rush Storm's End with the second army, and hopefully take control of both crippling the House of Renly, although Renly isn't a part of the House of Renly. Is that Joffrey moving down? That seems to be a bit bold. It's a very bold action. Blockade the Port of Storm's End. Yep, certainly. Path blocked. <laughs> How stark and Aaron. Oh, that's odd. Renly hates us. Are they back all under green? Yeah. Roland Storm feels disrespected? Okay, thank you, Marjorie. But he's a great general. He absolutely hates us. 
Well, that's 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 gone and annoyed me. Oh, the nerve. The nerve that he displays. So, as this is going to be the bigger siege, undoubtedly, we're going to want the heavier troops. This army. That, that should quite easily be able to deal with that. Just a few units of uh, swordsmen and spearmen. The Iron Throne is yours. That will do, I suppose. Yes, sire. They seem to be fairly unprotected. If we can get the city, then hopefully we'll be able to hold the city. That would be beneficial. <laughs> That'd definitely be easiest for, for us. Oh, they're coming out to meet me, are they? I've won many a battle against them. And I've crashed in many a battle as well. So they've got a few odd armies dotted about, and then their main army. Uh, luckily, we can fight at night, I believe. Which means, rather than dealing with all these troops right here, we can have them all individually. So a few spearmen, imagine, yeah, our boys should be able to take care of them pretty effectively. Especially with our cavalry, we'll just pound them. So, let's, let's go into the battle! North or south, they sing no songs for spiders. Oh, that's 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 a shame. Why didn't he give himself a good nickname then, like the Rainbow? Everyone likes rainbows, especially the double type. Start deployment. Stannis is gonna get his hands dirty in this battle. All of our cavalry is. We're gonna try and save our men, waste our cavalry. This is a bit odd. Uh, don't know what's happened there, really. So on the front line we have our spearmen. You can hold and to the side I suppose we have them. That that seems to be all fine to me. Uh, let's group these units. God, where's the group? <laughs> they seem to be in a really odd location. And march. Oh, they seem to want us dead. I said march, not not sprint with all your might. I do seem to be running this only at 14 frames per second, which is odd considering what I run other games at, like Skyrim. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think my computer's goofing up in the background, like usual. Nothing's really changed there. We don't have any archers, so we can get as close as we like before instigating the final charge. Get our cavalry in a nice position behind them. They're just uh, they're trying to prevent themselves being flanked, but I think it's safe to say that that, that point is gone. So these cavalry down here need to hurry up. Because they're late to the pie. That will do. Oh, this is getting tense. The music's tense. Their men seem very heavy duty. I mean, mine are reasonably. They must have some armor upgrades. I mean, that's why Renly was so strong. He was rich. They seem to be a lot better protected than my men. I am very sorry, my men. <laughs> it's reasonable. It's reasonable. I mean, the savior of this battle is definitely going to be our cavalry advantage. Which I'm going to abuse. <laughs> and the two armies met. So I'm wondering if I should roll out the swordsman or the spearman. 
Well, let's do what we like to do. Let's pause. And let's charge. Charging your cavalry into the front of Spearman will cause you heavy losses. That's good, because I'm not charging my cavalry. But thanks for the advice. units up with infantry and attack them from the side of your cavalry. I think that's everybody. We'll have the spearmen waiting in in the rear for some support. Charge forth, men! Die for your king. Preferably kill for your king. That's always better. And in go the cavalry. Let's try and deal with these armed spearmen from the back. Then they haven't turned. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. So even though the spearmen are facing the wrong way, they are doing some significant damage. And boom! A heavy charge. The armored sergeants have broken instantly. Press onward and break the spirit of his arm. And it's an absolute clusterfuck. <laughs> In the nicest way possible. If we can do this with all the other armies surrounding Storm's End, we will soon become King of Storm's End, rather than the King of Dragonstone. So they're fighting to the death, and they are fighting valiantly. They're doing a pretty good job. Um... Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well and make it so he can see us defeat the rest. So they are completely entrenched. They're fighting bravely. Should only charge at the enemy when... And 7 frames per second is not the uh, highest moment in my laptop. I'll have to see what's going on there. The enemy general has fallen. I don't know how long this episode's been going on for, if I'm honest. <laughs> I didn't want to check, because I was just so excited about playing this game. And you guys seem to love it. It's very, very popular on my channel. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. All of we lost two men in that battle. They lost 701. Theater. That's a victory. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. We captured a lot of men. There's mercy, and then there's fighting a war, I'm afraid. And I need to win a war. So we managed to take that so effectively. We've still got pretty much all of our men. And I think we're gonna have to wait for them to come out. Should we deal with these side armies? As there's essentially no men here, it is two men. We'll just order to resolve that battle. And oh, I don't want to annoy the local nobles, but so so we'll keep it nice and happy. He's a fair and rule, even though he executed all their men. So they have a blacksmith in this province, which can obviously upgrade all of my men. I believe. <laughs> Perhaps it'd be a better idea to cool off the attack and wait until we have uh, some better armor for proceeding. Nine turns they can su survive. Nine long turns. So of those two battles, I'm going to leave you here. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my content. Because I've noticed, you know, hundreds of views, 42 subscribers. I'm not holding it against you. I just love you too much. So, black is out, everybody. Love you.